On Ice Hockey UK TV, in association with SNP Europe, joined by the GB Under-18 Women's Head Coach, Sean Alderson, obviously ahead of the Under-18 Women's World Championship Division 2 Group A in Netherlands. Sean, how are you settling in? Yeah, it's been uh, good so far. It was obviously the travel days, a long, long day. We, we started, met at the airport at three o'clock in the morning, so it was a long day by the time we got there and Effectively, then do the travel and got the hotel checked in. Went to the rink. There's obviously a few tired bodies uh, by the end of the day. So, but yeah, it's, it, 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 we needed it uh, in terms of getting on the ice and getting used to the facility and that. But uh, I think uh, to, obviously the the train sessions coming ahead will get better and better as we uh, obviously the get used to acclimatising to both uh, the the new surroundings. Obviously, you don't get underway until the 15th. How important is these these days of preparation? Uh, they're huge because uh, although we've been we're quite fortunate in terms of there's only a couple of the players played abroad playing abroad that uh, we've had most of the squad together at the training camps we've had in the UK, and then obviously when we went for four nations in Spain. But uh, obviously, this will to have these five training sessions ahead of. Uh, a start in the championship, it just uh, allows us to effectively just uh, work on our power play system and our other systems ahead of uh, with everybody at the the whole squad at the camp. So it just uh, it, it's it's hugely important to get us ready. You mentioned that the Four Nations. I just wonder how good preparation that was for you. Those three results, you won two of them, of course, against Iceland and Spain, just being beaten by Poland, who of course are above GB in the World Championship structure. How, how impressive and how important was that prep for you? Oh, I think it was massive. Uh, to Getting games under our belt, to, to especially playing teams of uh, in the division that we're inspiring to be in. Uh, so two of the teams, to, like you mentioned, Spain and Poland in that high division, and to be able to go there and compete with those teams. Uh, obviously, we played Poland first and maybe... Girls just maybe lacked a little bit of belief, uh, but uh, we competed with them. We just uh, didn't, we had to change the way we played a little bit in Spain t in terms of to put the puck in the net. We just had to find different ways to do that. And we did that against Spain and managed to beat Spain. So, uh, and then obviously the Iceland game, we it was third game in three days, tired legs a little bit, but we 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 would have liked to have won by more, but uh, it was just getting the win. Uh, the, the Spanish game was probably the most important. It just gives the team that belief that they can compete with teams in the division above. And for some of the girls, obviously some of the girls have played World Championship ice hockey before, but for those that hadn't, was it important to get them into that mindset of, of training, of games, you know, games coming thick and fast? Yeah, I mean, a lot of some of them have played World Championships uh, in one or two. Some of them, those that haven't had the opportunity to play in the three-game series that the under-16s had against Norway last year. So that was, although it was a really strong opposition, it was still giving them that flavour of international hockey and what to expect. But, I mean, Norway under-16s were a very strong side, but uh, it gave them some insight. But, yes, still uh, to be able to play at under-18s level in a four nations where the, it was like a tournament as opposed to just three a three game series. Uh, yes, it it's, uh, all helps in terms of preps for the World Champ of actually competing in the World Championships. Obviously, coming up against the host Netherlands, as well as China, Latvia, Turkey and, and Kazakhstan, where, where do you feel the biggest threats will be next week? Uh, I think in terms of trying to do research, I've, I've been in, obviously, three of the teams were, were in the same division last year, so we've got, got uh, quite a bit on them. Kazakhstan dominated the, the division below, a little bit below, they'll come up, but uh, there's, there's, quite, there's usually quite a big difference between, but there's, you can't underestimate them, but the, there's a usually a big divide between some of the divisions. But the unknown is really China because they they haven't competed since 2020 and trying to get any information on them has not been easy. And do you have a, a target in mind? It's a difficult question I know to ask. And, and obviously, you know, you're a new, you've been involved in the program a, a long time in, in many guises, you know, with your senior level experience and here before as well. Do, do you set yourself targets or is that something that would develop as the week goes on? No, no, I think the teams, the, the belief is there that we can come here and we can, our target is to obviously get promoted and get up into Division 1, into Division 1B and follow the suit of what the women did a couple of years ago and effectively then progress from there. And looking at the results in that Division 1B, that's taken part at the moment. Uh, I think had we 
already been in that division. We know we can compete with the likes of Poland and Spain. So uh, it's the division we need to be in at the mo it's this moment in time. We've just got to try and make it happen. Brilliant. Well, listen, good luck. I'm sure we'll catch up with you again soon. But for now, good luck, Sean, to you and the team. Thank you very much, Chris.